do you think you're stupid? Well, I know I'm stupid. I got told ever since I was in primary school, which for you Americanos is kindergarten. I then got confirmed the fact in high school when I was put in the bottom of my sets. And then during my exam period, they continued to put me with all the dum dums. Now, I was not a dum 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 dum. I just couldn't really, you know, focus in school and shit like that. I would never quite have the attention. Some would call me a bit of a prankster, you know. I, I, I took that label as a bit of a uh, compliment, you know what I mean? I used to go, yeah, if you think so, mate. If you think I'm the class clown, go, oh, blah, blah, yeah, no, what to I? All seriousness, though, I've never had a big brain. But in terms of reality and, you know, thinking normally, I think I do have an okay brain. This gentleman, Corey Harris, my God, his brain is the size of a pea, a singular pea. I mean, he's got a big-ass head. You'd think there'd be lots of storage for good brain power and big, juicy brain stuff, but there clearly isn't. Let's play this dog. If you've not seen, he basically was late to his court hearing or something like that, and he decided to do a Zoom call whilst driving a car if you ever think your life was miserable wait until you watch this mr harris Hello? are you driving um, actually i'm pulling into my doctor's office actually so so i'll uh, just give me one second i'm parking right now hey you just see the um, Honjay Cedric Simpson just look around in absolute disbelief as to what he's witnessing right now. This guy cannot believe he's wasted his morning on a Zoom call with this Wally. Look at the lawyer. Like, I don't know who lawyers are, lo lawyers, lawyers are, lawyers who. Who knows? I think it probably only has one set of lawyers, wouldn't you? But they're looking around like... Did we actually accept this guy's fucking money right now? Are we as dumb as he is? You stationary? I'm pulling in right now at the second. Yes, I am. <laughs> he can't believe it. He's giggling like a little child. He's like, is this guy serious? Is he wasting my time? All right. What are we doing? Uh, Your Honor, we are respectfully requesting an adjournment in this matter, um, up possibly two to four weeks if the court would allow. Awkward pause. Okay. So maybe I don't understand something. This is a driving while license suspended. So I forgot to mention, and I probably should have mentioned, because it's the most hilarious part, but I didn't want to spoil it. Let's pretend it's that and that. I didn't have such a small brain, similar to Corey. He is in court about a driving suspension. So getting his license revoked. I don't know what he did. Maybe he sent a, a dick pic whilst driving. He might have sent a tweet whilst the girl was twerking on the top of his car. He might have been driving with no tyres. We just don't know. He might replace that with, like, bike gear. I don't know how cars work. He could have been, you know, driving with no seatbelt on. He could have been drifting around McDonald's drive through. It, that we could keep going. The point is, this idiot is facing a driving ban and he's joined a Zoom call whilst on the phone. Like, Lord have mercy. This guy is what I would call an absolute Wally. That is correct, Your Honor. Um, and he was just driving and he didn't have a license. Oh. <laughs> I did not know that was the case. He was driving and he doesn't have his license. So he's actually trying to get his ban revoked. You know, he's trying to be able to allow bit to, to sit behind a wheel. I mean, how thick and dumb dumb must you be? <sighs> it hurts, doesn't it? Just to understand that these people here have actually been given, you know, a chance on this earth. And then, you know, judges like this nice man, I'm sure he's a lovely man. He look, you know, you don't get called Honjay Cedric Simpson without being a hella man. You know what I mean? I'd love to check that guy's LinkedIn profile and see what he's up to in college. Because my God, I reckon that butt cheek smashed would have been off the the Richter scale, bro. Who's that big Jack dude who, you know, is always Jack, like filming, like, you know, with loads of girls and stuff. You know who I mean. Guy Bilzerian. Is that his name? No, that guy's from fucking Bilzerian or Bil Bilzer. I don't know what his name is. Guy Bilzerian, I'm pretty sure, is from Big Mall. <laughs> is with the charges, Your Honor, yes. No, I'm looking at his yes. record. He doesn't have a license. He's suspended and he's just driving. That is correct, Your Honor. Just wow, slow, pause, awkward look around going, he has no license, I've just checked, he has no license, and that's it. It's like, God, what a plonk. What an absolute plank of thick, mushy, mouldy wood this man must have, because my goodness gravy gracious, God holiness, bum cheeks clench him, because what? Oh. Uh. He just raised his hand. We're not in class, mate. Awkward silence. 
the lawyers look around like they don't know what planet they're on anymore. They're thinking, did we really choose to study law? Why didn't we just work at McDonald's or, you know, become a pizza delivery man? Like, why did we choose to be lawyers? Oh, because we're greedy and wanting money. And so we have to put it with dumb idiots like this. <sighs> don't chase the money bags, boys. That's what my advice would be. Hello? One minute, Mr. Harris. He's going to get arrested, isn't he? How can how can it you know how, surely they knew he had a car how can he then be allowed to drive the car imagine forgetting as well I mean, it shows he's been doing it loads and loads and loads how can you forget you've had your license taken away from you stripped like a prostitute loses her will to live this man has lost all sense of thinking I don't even know why he would do that. So defendant's bond is revoked in this matter. Defendant is to turn himself into the Washington County Jail by 6 p.m. today. Failure to turn himself in will result in a bench warrant with no bond. <laughs> Look at his face. He got. I am such a dumb dumb. What is wrong with me? Why would I do? And then to try to be like, oh, I'm just pulling in. Don't worry. I'm just pulling up to my doctor. He's like, doesn't matter what you're doing. You're not allowed to sit behind a wheel. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Harris, I'll be giving you a call. Okay. <laughs> okay. It sounds like Cleveland. It's like, okay. Yeah. I mean, I can't, but I need to watch the beginning and the end just to see. Mr. Harris, Hello? are you driving? Um, actually, I'm pulling into my doctor's office, actually. So, so I. <laughs> like, he, they can't believe it. The lawyers are going to absolutely blow their brains off. I'm just. I'm pulling into my doctor's office. You're not allowed to drive. It doesn't matter if it's to save your dying grandma or to buy a bag of fucking cabbage. You can't drive. In conclusion, don't be like Corey Harris and be like Cedric Simpson. I mean, you know, there's two ways you can go about life. You can become a judge and live a good life and try, you know, promote. Like, I mean, he throws his pen in disbelief. Corey, I mean, he must be shitting bricking himself right now. He can't believe he's not going to be driving and he's just being caught. How is he driving? Where's the insurance who knows who cares it's america i don't know how car things work they probably just allow you to have a minigun in the back of your boot or something like that these days i mean poor guy be like cedric don't be like Corey. i mean i can't believe you would call and then go on the phone in your car like that's not to text and drive like that you're not allowed to do stuff oh you know, you're not allowed to do anything while driving these days. You can't even itch your own ball sack. you got to, like, just resist. Terrible world we live in. Imagine not being able to itch, itch your sack. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, Corey, you silly sausage. I wonder if he goes to jail, jail.